Hi friends, I am going to do a quick hair tutorial. Um, I actually just filmed a makeup tutorial today and um, so my makeup's all pretty and done. And now I'm gonna show you how I do my hair. Um, I have one day old hair today. Um, I washed my hair yesterday morning, let it air dry and now this, um, I actually had it curled last night so you can see a little bit of wave left in it. Um, but day old hair is by far the best. Um, or several day old hair. Um, but I wanna give you a quick look at my beauty products that I use. Um, this is kind of my lineup, if you can see them. Um, dry shampoo, texturizing spray, Moroccan oil, wet brush, um, a hair clip, and if I'm gonna use hairspray, that's what I use, and this is um, a protector, a heat protectant. So this is the hairspray that I love the most, Batiste, and that's kind of my lineup of things. So I've been using my, curl, I've got my curly iron heated, and honestly, on my quick days, I do not even bother sectioning out my hair. So take your wand, and this is the T3 with the one inch barrel that I love, but I've used plenty of but I've used plenty of other ones, so there's plenty out there that work. So I just grab a section of my hair, I wrap it around, and I count to 20 really fast. And then let it fall. And then I'll just grab another little section. So it kind of seems like each side usually has about three sections and this is when I'm doing it fast and really just want a tiny little bit of wave in my hair. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. So can you see? And if I wanted, I can get this little section another little bit in the front. And I've tried doing um, to where sometimes one section of hair, I do four words, roll forwards, and one section of hair, roll back. But I have just found with my hair, I like them all, I do them all towards the back. Meaning I, I like them all to go backwards instead of like this. I like them to go back and not forward. Does that make sense? So I do it all like that and I've been using the wand now for 10 years but I swear um, it just takes a little practice it feels awkward at first when you're doing it and you got to make sure that you hold the wand down like this down and then put back and I do mine so fast um, and you can just redo little pieces if you need I like to just kind of give my hands this little piece up front. It's kind of wanting to be stingy today. And this, honestly, I have lots of friends that have shorter hair that I, that I will put the wand through. It works on short or longer hair, okay? So, that's my curls. Um, I already had a little bit of this texturizing spray, the Orbe dry texturizing spray. Um, if you, ha especially if you have clean hair, I find this texturizing spray to be so good. But it just kind of gives some good volume. Um, again, I already had some in my hair, so I didn't necessarily need it. Um, and lots of times I do not use hairspray, but you, this is kind of what I use. Um, and then. This is my best friend, my tea dry shampoo. I always get greasy kind of all in the hairline and by the ears, like I could use a little bit here. Um, so dry shampoo helps give your hair, gives your hair good texture too. Um, and I usually don't brush mine through, I'll just kind of hair, use my fingers and comb through. Um, again, I love these little clips. If I were to have really wanted to spend a lot of time these work great you can pull your put your hair up in sections but honest to goodness nine times out of ten i just do what i just did and i don't even bother sectioning them 
Um, Moroccan oil also when my hair is wet I will spray it's a 10 because I have the tangliest hair so on wet hair I use the it's a 10 and um, brush it out with my wet brush and then I will use just a little dime size um, portion of the Moroccan oil and put it through my ends and it just makes my hair so silky and smooth and gives it a good shine and that's it and again I'll link this T3 but I also have another another one that I really like um, that's maybe like 80 dollars that I've used for 10 years before I got the T3 so you do not have to spend $200 on a wand um, but anyway let me know if you guys like this give me a thumbs up if this tutorial was helpful I'm very brand new at these but I promised a few people um, that I would get one up so I hope it helps I've also um, got a makeup tutorial in the works so I hope y'all have a good one.